morning everyone and welcome to today's vlog hope you're all okay keeping safe so yes yeah, so we are now on the countdown now till the boys go back to school ready sammy back to school yeah, I'm not getting my name class yeah so sammy's getting um he wants to get back i think it's got to the stage now where they're just getting bored and fed up and things like that no, I'm get back to school getting my name class and stuff yeah, bless him. He, and then the, here's quite funny what Sam said. They'll be on the countdown doing Christmas things and stuff like that. It'll be quite interesting to see if they're doing a Christmas play or movie because obviously they have, with what's been happening, they haven't had them for a while. Um, thank you, sweetheart. Saying that, though, you did do one last year, didn't you? It was, and it was done over through Zoom, so we did get to see it, so it wasn't too bad. So, yeah, so, um, like I said, they've been really good kids over the summer holidays. It's just been trying to find things to do to keep them occupied, doesn't it, Sita? I'm going to have a problem with doing the play this year. Are you? Probably might do a play what is your favourite thing we've done over the summer holidays? Butlins, I think. Is it Butlins? Yeah. Okay, what's your favourite thing we've done at Butlins then, Sita? So. Saw the shows. Saw the shows. Is that your favourite thing you've done? Yeah. Not go, not finally ride on Flight the Skyline? Yeah, Flight the Skyline. You like that ride, don't you? Yeah. So, yeah, but um, as I was saying, so yeah, we've maxed out our Merlin passes like crazy over the summer holidays. That has definitely really helped. So, we can take a break from theirs now for a few weeks, I think. Um, it gets to the stage where the theme parks get boring. But then they're saying that like, the kids absolutely love the rides. I think they all ride them every day if you let them, to be honest with you. Yeah, we've got there now for Brickle Treat for October half term, mm -hmm. which should be pretty good. We've done the one in February half term, but we've never done the Halloween one, have we, Sammy? Same as that they got on the events at Christmas time. We've also booked for that as well, so I'm not too quite sure what we're open. And I think they said there's about 32 rides open, so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, near the time what happens from there, but yeah, I did look at one of the light trails at Gulliver's Land in Milton Keynes. But they wanted £65 for the four of us, that's just for the light trail. And I thought that is just far too expensive, it just isn't worth it. So, we got the light trail book for Warwick Castle anyway. So, we said if maybe we'll get back there because he absolutely loves the light trails and stuff. So, yeah, so anyway, I need to get the boys' lunches now, yeah, because it's actually 11 o'clock, believe it or not and um this, this morning's gone by so so quickly so no we didn't get up till late did we sammy we, we didn't get up till late which was nice way definitely can't do that monday morning though can we sammy that'd be fine the bus be knocking on the door and we're like no we're not up yet so now i think we might set the alarm early i think for right. sunday and what's the matter the i don't know we might do darling so yes, yeah, so like I said, and then when Steam comes home from work, we're just popping off to Aldi to do a big, big shop. You got that? Push in. Now don't pick a trolley with a wonka wheel today, will you? Mummy, push the trolley. I can push the trolley today. Okay, yeah, so we see we're just at Aldi now. We need, like I said, we need to do a big, big shop. But the only thing we don't need is potato waffles and also dinosaurs. We seem to have got loads of those i think because every time we come shopping ben's always grabbed some oh look at the little the little grapes and there we are actually little snack sites when we go out and stuff aren't they so what are the super six this week we've got bananas easy little peelers baby plum tomatoes pears we need pears to, yeah we need some pears so they've also got some radishes as well you also need some baby plum tomatoes and also get some of these little easy peelers again because they're going to eat them obviously we've been at school as well so yeah oh, that's what I said. I'm not going to buy too many bananas because they seem to go all manky still don't they so we need some fruit we need some strawberries well they look nice strawberries don't they wonky strawberries things I don't understand how you can call them wonky strawberries anyway you know Yes, yeah, so I'll get those. They look alright, don't they? Yeah, get some strawberries. Get some raspberries. They look alright, don't they? Do not blackberries or blueberries? We didn't even eat the last lot. We did eat the last lot. Oh, we haven't. You've still got more in the drawer. You want your mushrooms? Yeah? Are oh, they little ones? Look, those ones. Those ones are right, aren't they? Those ones in there. Have I got our little things we like in here? Where are they? 
Oh, you put some sweet corn in. Yeah, we'll eat it this time. What? Oh, yeah, we did eat the last ones, didn't we, last week? We're looking for something. I don't think they've got any, darling. Oh, yes, they have. Got some of these slice, crispy potato slices. Sammy absolutely loves these, don't you? If I go for the 7th of September, one with a better date on them. And also get some of these herby potatoes. You're These are yeah. really nice. What have you got? Pie, you got two. Pie. You got two. two you got two packets of pies. Oh, what's the yeah. dates? I want two packets. Eight. Well, one out. Well, seventh. Yeah, long as the dates one on the five. Look at those fingers. sides of those fish fingers, Sammy. Oh, you get them. You wait. You can get them if you want them. You'll probably only put one of those fish fingers, wouldn't you? You know what Sammy's like with those fish fingers. I put a whole load of burgers we got in the freezer. Certainly no burgers. I need some mints as well. I do shepherd's pie the sanyas. Well, they look different, don't they? What are they? Okay, get one of them. Mm. Get one of them, then. It's not, not spicy or anything, has it? No, with tomato, with tomato sauce, mozzarella, Italian hard cheese, sliced crumb grating. Oh, they sound nice, Adrian. Eh? Definitely get some of them. Sam's got his pies. You get some bacon up there, can't you? They're gluten free. Yeah, yeah. yeah gluten free, so we can have them. Sammy, you can grab some pasta down there for, da for Daddy, please, and, and some pasta sauce. Pasta, pasta sauce. There you go, which one do you want? This, um, sweet tomato. Pasta, pasta Let's get that bolognese one, that, that'd be all right. I'll put that one in the trolley as well. I can just imagine this trolley's got the overflow. Sammy, Sunday dinner. Dad's yeah, going to do a roast dinner. What do you want? Gammon. You want some gammon or do you want or some chicken? Gammon. You want some gammon? You want roast gammon for dinner on Sunday? Yeah, okay, let's see what they've got. Um, have they got any the tempura chicken things here for Ben? Because these ones are normally gluten free. Let's see what they've got. I know Stephen's doing pasta for tea tonight. Here you go, gluten free tempura chicken nuggets. Get Ben some of them because he loves those. <laughs> So what chicken do you want tonight for pasta? Thighs, chicken breast fillet, chicken breast fillet. These ones, yeah? Those ones? Yeah. That's a, that large pack, is that alright? Yeah, yeah? Okay. Oh yeah. What well, some of Ben normally have? He has this one, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, because obviously Ben absolutely loves this time. It's high in magnesium for him as well. Well, it's up to you because Ben's still got some in the freezer. So we get those ones you've got for now, they'll be fine. Let's no, see if they've got any. Free. Also, the gluten free fish fingers here, what Ben loves as well. Have they got any of them? Yeah, I can see them. Gluten free. Well, they do. Oh, no, not. I thought they were, but sort of really the fish. Beauty Gons. Ooh, I like that summer fruit. That's really nice, that one is. Yeah, this is the summer fruits thing that. We absolutely like. I get two lots. So Sammy likes this as well, doesn't he? Sammy, do you want your apple juice, darling? Yeah, no, you get it. How, how many do you want? I have one packet. Oh, don't. Sorry. Okay, well, get two lots. It will last you. Do these, the, these little pastas. You got little zoo ones there. You got dinosaurs, and you got some teddy ones there. Um, obviously, we can't buy them because obviously they're glu not gluten free. So I'm sure Ben would actually love those, wouldn't he? If they wasn't. Oh, way up here. Right, juice. We desperately need juice. What's that? Oh, gluten free stuff around the corner. Okay, Ben needs some of his biscuits, doesn't he? Yeah, that's good. There you go, some of them. Oh, what do I spy? Tell me what these are bad. Sammy, do you want some of these for school? Yeah, I can get those. Do you want the chocolate ones or do you want the angel ones? Some of the angel ones. Want the angel ones? Yeah? I'm not too quite sure how much they are, but they're going in the trolley. Got some lovely little tiny when you love hearts, got some lemon as well. I know juice, you want get four bottles of um juice. Yeah, I see they still got all their Kyron books in for 2 dollars I practically finished mine, but I have found a couple more out, so I recommend for now. So these are pretty good though, aren't they? These little number things. Obviously you've got like a little playroom or something like that for youngsters. On them this way. What have they got here? You got some Harry or what? Harry Potter. It's a puzzle. 3D puzzle for 8 dollars I always love looking down these aisles. It's amazing what you can find in here sometimes. 
this is going to be fun trying to see the trolley and vlog at the same time because you can see the trolley is overflowing already and we've got half an aisle to go but yeah the joys of shopping and I'll see all the kids need all bits and pieces as well to go back to school with what are they? a wing a wing a bubble dip wave and play oh well, they're different aren't they they're only 199 they are I'll pop you there and try and get rid of all their summer stuff as well don't they so yeah so I think we're almost shopping now actually got some play sand you can see this office is left open there all their baby event as well oh cool look at these little puzzles look you got read and pill you got lion king and you've also got like a little weird and pill shape sorter that's pretty cute isn't it and away don't we the inn is nice and full now Again, so I hope the thing has crossed it will last. I am actually over the summer holidays. The kids are just super eat and drink us out of house and home. Seriously, wish you could budget, but you just can't. You can't during some holidays, you just can't because mm. kids are always like, Mummy, I'm hungry, Mummy, I'm hungry. And especially with places like Aldi and Lidl, they don't do gluten free shop, um, they don't do an awful lot, do they? So I'm going to pop on to ask them when they get a whole load of stuff for them. Um, the thing is though, once they're back at school, it should last them now, shouldn't it? So anyway, you can see like this, he was just cooking pasta for tea as well, or Sammy asked for, and even Ben loves his pasta though, doesn't he? Oh, that's a bit small anyway. I oh, know, yeah, it's always nice, isn't it, pasta? Mm. So we've got um, chicken and bacon cooking in there nicely. That's our pasta, and then Ben's got some fusel lily pasta here as well so yeah he likes that obviously having the two separate lots and then obviously got the leeks and the mushrooms in there what this the um pasta the taste is it the bacon or is it the leeks and the mushrooms or is it just a combination of all three don't know sure i don't know actually so while you're, while you're doing that i'm gonna go on to aston or the ben's shop all right mm. well you one more thing i want to show you quickly is my tomatoes they've actually Yes, yeah, so I say you can see my tomatoes have finally turned red. Look at the size of this one. This is quite a nice, decent size. This is actually the beef ones. I know the beef ones can get really massive, but I'm sure Ben will enjoy eating these tomatoes, won't he? He absolutely loves tomatoes. But yep, so like I said, I'm going to just pop on here now and do and shop. So then, guys, that finally comes to the end of the summer holidays. And I hate to say it, guys, I am so happy. You know this holiday has been very expensive I know it's been very expensive for a lot of families up and down the country and uh, thank God for Merlin passes eh? if we didn't have our Merlin passes we wouldn't have done half of all those trips we've done too you, you think about how much it actually costs to get into places like Legoland Chessington Warwick Castle just for one day for a family of four and how many times have you been into holidays yeah Plus we've done Butlins as well, yeah. You know, out of the two holidays we've had this year, Great Yarmouth was the best. And I have to I have to admit that, Butlins was not worth the money. Yeah, Absolutely was not worth it. Not being asked, Butlins wasn't, it wasn't at all. Considering how much we pay for accommodation, yeah. and then you compare that to the accommodation we had at Haven, Haven was half the price. Half the price, yeah. But we had a bigger... Apartment. Much bigger apartment, yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah. And even not even looking at even the entertainment wasn't the greatest. The, the entertainment was just bad, you know. The only thing I really enjoyed was uh, the Ed, the Ed Sheeran song book, which uh, is now on the channel for you guys to watch if you fancy watching that. And that's about it, really, you it's know. Flurry, it's just boring, absolute yeah. boring. You know, you, in, t in theory, most of the cost in your travel is on your food, isn't it? That's what takes up the price, doesn't it? And the accommodation, really. The accommodation yeah. was not really the greatest. It was nice to have a wet room, though. Yeah, but the floor wasn't level. Half the time, the water was running the other way, back towards the door. It was, wasn't it? So, but yeah. like I said, we definitely do consider on our options next year, big time. So. Yeah, at the minute, I ain't got a clue. You know, I really haven't what to do next year. I don't know where we're going to be with Ben this time next year. You know, how's he going to get on when he starts his, his sixth form on Monday? 
Hopefully he's going to do okay. Hopefully he's going to enjoy getting away from mum and dad for five will, days a week again. I think he would. I think he'll enjoy being back to school with his friends. You know, a lot of people don't understand that. You know, for him to go to a, not, a place where his friends are, you know, Northamptonshire County Council have got to fund that for him to go there. Yeah. You know, because he has something called a EHCP. And because we live in Northamptonshire and he's in Oxfordshire for his schooling and everything else, they won't fund that. So I just, you know, I've been fighting with this for so many years now. I can't wait to start explaining all the stuff again to this, this new adult social, social worker when whoever it is comes in this time. You know, I just feel like we're continuing to repeat ourselves constantly over and over again to these buggers, don't we, Cheryl? The thing is, it's all on his notes in the first place. So they actually read his notes before they'd come to see us. Mm. We wouldn't have to go through the same rigmarole every time. Right. Oh, no. Well, it's just absolute pain in the backside, guys. <laughs> I know I mean that. I've never got the only ones that are through this. I yeah. know there's those people going through this. But the thing is, I'm still not paying for people to go through like it is. That as they get older, it gets harder and as they get older that the support decreases each time but then yep. it just get bigger basically. Yeah, the older they get the lack of support. We haven't had no support now for mm -hmm. nearly over a year. For two years in May. Yeah. The year la year last a uh, year ago in April, isn't it? That's when, when it all stopped. No, that's that's when yeah. Ben had his seizures. You know what guys, if you've got small little ones, enjoy them when they're that age because, you know, if you want support and help as they get older, you know, it will not come. It, it just will not come. Anyway, so like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you in the next vlog guys. Bye.